So someone told me about this dude Skippy, the real 40 year old virgin, and I was like, man, that's not like the movie. It cannot be that bad. Uh, then I looked at him and it was way worse. Let's say I buy you a, Con a Klondike bar and it's like super tasty. Would you kiss a guy for a Klondike bar? Okay, that's a little cringe, so what? How long since your last relationship? Over a year ago? You had like a, a two to five year relationship, didn't you? Oh my God. Fives, yeah. Uh, who, wants a, who wants a hug or a kiss? It's all about the five, right? Oh my god, the cringe is turning me into a southern person. As far as I know, this dude is on a kissing rampage trying to give all the girls the smoochies and woochies that he wants to, and he does not care how he gets it. So I am here to say, skip it. Stop. You better stop stealing kisses from women. You'd know damn well that's prank invasion's job. And I think that dude has been deceased for a very long time. What's up guys, it's me, Leo. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I can't fully open my mouth properly. Yes, I still look a little bit like a chipmunk. Just a little quick update on me. This is my first video post wisdom teeth removal. To any of you who have been on my Instagram, you would have seen that I actually also got CVS the same day and that has been a nightmare to recover from. So I'm still pretty low energy and I cannot fully move my mouth. But at the same time, I can't just sit there and do nothing. What am I gonna do? Fondle my ass cheeks for seven days on the bed? That's not fun. Before we start the video, I just wanna quickly apologize if some of the words are a little slurred, but I also really do miss you guys, so I could not film. So bear with me if you can. And while you're at it, smash that subscribe button. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. You know why? Cause look at my face, I'm doing this for you. If you wanna know like more of the behind the scenes personal stuff, then do follow me at 16 Leo underscore. If you want to, you can. I was just sitting there being bored trying to do this the whole time. And then like another fever dream, I discovered Skippy, the 40 year old virgin. Now I just wanna go on record and say there is nothing wrong with being a virgin at any age. The problem is that he wants to get laid. You know how people are like, oh, that's, that's marriage material right there. Well, this is some sort of like cloth that is not applicable to the situation. He's not, he's made of the wrong material. It's not marriage material. As I was watching this dude, he reminded me so much of another ball figured man. You know who I'm talking about, Big Ed himself. And the worst part of this comparison is that Big Ed is at least still on a reality show. The video that I'm talking about today is on Skippy's personal channel. This is his real life. So let's take a look. Step one when getting ready for a date, clean out the car. Um, I deliver pizzas in it, so I've got to make sure that uh, it's clean and free of uh, pizza smell. Well, actually, the first step one to a real date should be not to film it. Skippy films his dates, and the women don't seem to know until they get in the car. Skippy used to be on a show called The Virgin Diaries, and he isn't on it anymore. I don't know if he wants to be a reality television star or something, but honestly, especially with the first date, I really don't think you should be filming someone. Stop filming the first dates. That way you could get to know the person, and if they have a good repertoire with you, maybe they'll be more open on the second one. So I've got to make sure that uh, it's clean and free of uh, pizza smell, pizza smell, pizza smell, pizza smell. Why does this look like a image from a fucking crime documentary? Scott Jessup, also known as Skippy, was a Domino's pizza delivery man. Most of his toppings were mozzarella cheese, but today his topping was death. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm Skippy. Um, her name is Deanna. Hello. Deanna, uh, I'm gonna hand you the... Um, Am I going this way? And we're going, Does it huh? matter which way? No. Nope. Got them jelly hands. He's really nervous for the date. He's like, hi, nice to meet you. My name's Skippy. Sorry, can you just shake it, please? Uh, for starters, let's go with how did we meet? I don't really remember. I don't really let's know. make up a story. We were at Utah Lake. That's what it was. Swimming. Yeah, because I'm I'm known to go places and take off my shirt. Well, I was girls. swimming. Yeah. I also want to make it clear that this dude is clearly trying. He's putting himself out there. And there's nothing wrong with getting rejected. You shouldn't ever feel bad 
for trying. But it's the way that he goes about it that turns his chances from this into this. So he's got that first part right. He's getting them to say yes to the date, but he's working his way into the friend zone. It's like when you message a friend and they're like five minutes away, then you message them 10 minutes later and they're like, oh, I'm 15 minutes away. It's like, how did you get further away in more time? How did you do that? There was a shark date, attack. Like, yes. Well, I saw a fin. Yeah. And and I got scared yeah. and, and I didn't know what to Greg do. And Greg Norman. Do you get that joke? Do you even get that joke? Greg Norman is the golfer who is uh, called the shark. Anyways. That <laughs> Yeah, okay, Skippy. You don't need to tell me who Greg Noble is. I know exactly who that is. Okay, so don't worry. I know all about golf and golfers. Name two golfers, Tiger Woods. Tiger Forest? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Shining on your face here. Oh, it, it's okay. I think uh, of the two of us, you're the one that people would want to see because i'm i'm known to go places and take off my shirt well i was girls. swimming yeah. i think confidence is another thing that's underrated when going on dates and uh you get it misconstrued with cockiness confidence is just being okay with who you are when you do things like yeah you know i'm not good looking or why would anybody want to see me without my shirt like then when you're on the date the girl is like yeah if you don't even like yourself, why would I like you? I'm not saying that you should be like, I'm the hottest shit in the world. I'm just saying you should be okay with who you are. Because there's nothing wrong with it. Then Skippy plays a quick game of fast facts. So you probably should play turn the camera off and talk to her like a human. But hey, whatever game works for you, buddy. Fast facts about you. You are fast from facts. Utah. No. Uh, do you care if I ask you what year you graduated? Or a lady never tells her age, never mind. Uh, fast fact number three, you drive a what kind of car? Mazda. Do you get a sense that it's a boy or a girl? I think most Mazdas are boys. Uh, have you ever asked that on a first date? You and this fine ass woman sitting down and you look at her and you're like, you look so beautiful, but something has been on my mind. Is your car a boy or a girl? Huh? I need to know, is that exhaust pipe a vagina or a dick? What is it? Alice, I am dead f***ing serious. Is your car's belly button an innie or an Audi? Does your car have any piercings? Does your car like spare ribs or is it a vegetarian? Does your car have gas or just constipation? <laughs> no, but seriously, what kind of petrol does it take? What an obscure question to ask. Skippy really needs to have better questioning on that first date. What was the street you grew up on? Hey, wait, are you getting no, credit no, card no, information? No, was, uh, are you trying to break into so my credit card? These are those like, questions your, they ask what you. What is it, like your porn star name? I just made this, that up. What is your porn star name? Oh my God. What is wrong with you, man? Okay, Alice, uh, one more question. What is your porn star name? No, I'm, I'm serious, I'm serious. Alice? Alice, Alice, seriously, I need to know the stuff. I'm gonna write down Cinnabons. The, the street that you grew up on and you're right. Color? Is that how you do porn star names? The street that you used to live on and your favorite color? So my porn star name is Black Havana. That, oh, that actually is. That doesn't sound bad. Do you know who Childish Gambino is? He's a musician. Uh, he's an actor named Don Glover, but he goes by uh, the rap. His uh, rap name is Childish Gambino. <laughs> Dude, Skippy, you don't need to tell me who Chinese Gamblego is, bro. I know exactly who that is. Oh, I know who this. Is. This is Danny Glover's father. The way he got his rap name was he went to the Wu Tang Clan generator name generator. Did you ever think you were gonna see? the whitest Mormon from Utah talk about Childish Gambino and how he got his name. I've got to give Skippy some baller points right here. I have no idea why he can't just initiate a normal conversation. It went from porn star name to her rap name, but uh, Childish Gambino is the name that Donald Glover put into a Wu-Tang uh, name generator and that's what came out. Let me put my name in there and see what happens. Okay, cool. My name is Stylist Violent. I prefer Stylish Violin actually, but okay. We're doing it right now, pause. Please put in my name and it came up with what? 60 second Jesus. 60 second Jesus. That sounds like the first time Skippy has sex is what his wife will say. 60 seconds, Jesus. Well, Wu-Tang never lies, Wu-Tang. Anyway, on their first date, Skippy decides that he's gonna take Deanna uh, to a comedy show, which is pretty good. Let's uh, say what it is we're gonna go do. We are going to a uh, comedy show. Comedy show. If you ever saw Whose Line Is It Anyways, uh, got, it's uh, a guy named uh, Jeff B. Davis, who uh, 
my personal uh, favorite thing that he's been in was his uh, group. Uh, you got uh, One Crazy uh, Summer. Uh, Jeff uh, Davis. John and Hughes. Uh, and Bob uh, Isaac. Uh, young good looking in the 80s. Oh my god. I mean, it's really nice that I'm learning the whole history of whose line is it anyway. That is something that I've definitely, it was on my bucket list. Now it's on my fuck it list. But you know what I'm gonna put down, Skippy? <sighs> Let her talk. I'm gonna share some unwarranted advice with you, Skippy. One thing that I've learned the hard way is that you have to pay attention. I think listening is a very underrated skill in life because a lot of people pretend to listen, but they don't really hear what the f is coming out of other people's mouths. I know you guys are on a date, but don't you think it would benefit you to listen to what she likes in case you go on a second one, you'll know? Maybe talk about yourself less, especially on a first date. So I've got some uh, fun gifts for them. They're all getting uh, Skippy whistle, a uh, no sex for you bracelet, Skippy stickers. Stop self-promoting. Stop. What the hell did you just say? A Skippy whistle? Anti-sex bracelet. Have you heard about the anti-sex necklace they used to have in the 2000s? It's called a puka shell necklace. As soon as you put it on, you become a virgin again. A little Skippy pack in it. A Skippy is my friend. I love Skippy. A thanks to Skippy I didn't get whistle. Oh, that's nice. A no sex <laughs> for you bracelet. Some oh, Skippy, uh, some Skippy stickers. Why do you have gifts like that? Why did you call them Skippy gifts? Stop being self-promotional. Big Ed does that and it never works. Let's see, what do you want to be when you grow up? Happy. Hi Alice, thank you so much for agreeing to sit down again. What would you like to be when you grow up even though you're already 35? Oh, happy, well that ship has sailed. What do you prefer, butt stuff or foot stuff? Yeah, Alice, Alice. I'm gonna put down butt stuff. Yeah, lean in. Oh, uh, the Skippy whistle. Because uh, I carry Skippy whistles in my car. Oh, that's the only thing getting blown in that car. I'm sorry I had to say it, but really, come on. Why do you have a whistle in your car? You only keep things in your car to prepare for stuff that's going to happen. That's why we have spare tires in your car. Because maybe one day you'll have a flat tire and you'll need to change it. You don't keep things in your car that don't need to be in your car. I don't keep a watermelon in my car in case I'm like, whoa, it's 2.30 already, time for a watermelon. I don't do that. That's not a thing. On a first date, you're telling a woman that that you have one in your car. I'm, I'm writing that down. I'm not saying that it's bad to have an R whistle. I'm just saying you're hanging it off the dashboard of your car as if people need to blow into that. Women that get into your car shouldn't feel the need to even have to use that as an option. What? Now, I want you to remember this next part because it'll come up at the end of the video and I hope you're invested enough to watch till the end. Skippy goes on this rant about a Klondike bar. And if you're not American, a Klondike bar is a piece of trash wrapped in some garbage and they tried to pawn it off as ice cream. It tastes like uh, someone hurt you and I don't know why people eat that thing, but they seem to like it. Skippy finds out that Deanna has never had a Klondike bar. And for some reason, Skippy thinks that if he holds a Klondike bar and presents it to a girl that hasn't tasted a Klondike bar, she will do something for a Klondike bar. What's the wildest thing you would do for a Klondike bar? Climb into a fountain. It's up to you. What does a like, Klondike bar taste like? We're buying her one. a Klondike bar, a Klondike bar tonight. So you can already see how scummy this dude is becoming before they even get to the show. Baby, my name's Skippy, but I need you to talk a bit slower. You tell me everything you do for a Klondike bar and I'm gonna do that shit to you. I'm Skippy, one of the sexiest motherfuckers in the planet. Hey, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Tell me the sexiest thing you do for a Klondike bar. <laughs> Please. But if yeah. it's delicious, then... Yeah, what wouldn't you do for a Klondike bar? Yeah. Lip. Oh my god. Ugh. And in Skippy's mind, he's like, I can turn this woman into a personal hooker of mine if I give her a Klondike bar. What is wrong with you? And you don't even have to see his head processing it because he does this when he's thinking. What What can a woman do for a Klondike bar? He just wants to give people the kissies. Let's say I buy you a, Kon a Klondike bar and it's like super tasty. Would you kiss a guy for a Klondike bar? I'm sorry, let's drop the f***ing pretenses. I didn't know he was actually gonna just say it in the car. This is so awkward. I'm surprised Deanna didn't say that, oh, her profession is that she's a stuntman and then jump out the car and take her chances on the freeway. I don't know, I haven't had one, so I can't answer to be continued. We're getting this one. Look at her face, Skippy. 
I hope he's still making fun of cars. Ah. It gets worse and worse as the story progresses, but this is the moment when he had the idea of, oh, a Klondike bar equals a kiss, and it just never leaves his mind from this point. And as the date goes on, Skippy seems to get more desperate. It's crawling under my skin, and I don't care if I sin. I really, I feel like James Corden. Yeah, you look like James Corden too. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. This is like high school musical, except it's only the teachers singing. Right I really want it right now. I really want it right now. Nah, nah, nah. I really Give me the sex. Right nah, nah, nah. I feel like so they couldn't film the Whose Line Is It Anyway show. This is them after the show. And this is the second video where he films the second part of his date and gets progressively worse. It starts off with Skippy's famous, yeah, rampage. He now follows me on Instagram. Uh, yeah, yeah. I follow him on yeah. Instagram friends. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Insta yeah. friends, Insta friends, Insta, Insta friends, yeah. Insta friends, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah? This man's mind is so focused on getting the kissy wissies from the girls that he is not even processing what she's saying. She could be telling him anything. She could be like, my grandma died. He'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah yo. Skippy, I'm serious. She just died. Yeah, yo. Skippy, my grandma. Grandma, Klondike bar. What would you do for one? That's free association, baby. Kiss me. I'll uh, follow you back. Like, I don't do that. Mm. No, we just did it. Because this oh. is definitely different. I think I speak for most guys that when... Uh, an attractive girl says, follow me, I'll follow you back. You go, yeah, absolutely, absolutely kind of thing. No, no, I, you don't speak for most guys and you certainly don't speak for me. I think 90% of the time, if you follow back that hot girl who wanted you to follow them, uh, you're going to end up on Catfish with Neve Campbell because it's a 36-year-old Taiwanese man trying to get your money. I'm telling you right now, next year, Skippy's going to be on Catfish being like, oh man, I met this hot, hot Latina girl and I got freaked out because I sent her a dick pic and she sent me one back. I was like, whoa. Uh, so here's another dating tip for anybody out there who needs to know. Probably not the best thing to talk about your exes or bring up other people's exes on the first date. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a pro at conversation. I don't know. When was the last, uh, how long since your last relationship? Over a year ago? How long is the longest relationship? You, you had like a, a two to five year relationship, didn't you? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Hey, Alice, thank you so much for listening on the phone to me cry for eight hours and agreeing to a second date. I just wanted to know, why did your ex cheat on you then leave you for your best friend? Well, are you crying tears of joy? <laughs> and just to follow up, how big was your ex's penis and will I be scared to show you mine? Alice? Alice? She's going the opposite way. Wow. It's not first date conversation. You know, just like you wouldn't talk about marriage on the first date. Don't scare people. Stop. I think I've had technically three girlfriends my entire life kind of thing. Uh -huh. And I've made out with, I want to say, I, I think it's 49 is the you number You made of out with 49 girls? Yeah. I would like ask girls on dates and uh, if they would kiss, I was like, oh yeah, I like doing this. Okay, well, how about don't tell people that? Okay. Those are some big numbers, Skippy. Those are some frat boy numbers or some fat boy numbers. I don't know which one it is. Shit, I don't know if I want to make out with 49 goals. I'd rather make out with one really good goal 49 times, but all right, whatever. Stop bragging though. Don't brag to your date about how many other women that you've been kissing up on. I'm not saying don't be open, but you're bragging about it to your date. Yeah, my name's Skippy. I had three girlfriends, 49 makeout sessions, and zero sex. You do the math. That's Mormon, baby. Skippy and Deanna proceed to get drinks, and he thinks this is the perfect opportunity to take out his personalized Skippy gifts and show it to her. I said to her, I have a thank you gift for you, and I hinted, I could give it to you on a date if we went on one. And she's like, oh, I'm busy. But I still wanted to give her the gift, and so, her last name is Watson, and so I thought it would be funny to call her Wonder Watson in a text. And so I've got a Wonder Woman. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. My friend's last name is Wong. I call him King Wong sometimes because he looks like a f 
fucking gorilla. <laughs> what, what stupid ass stretch is that? Her name is Wanda Watson, and I thought that was like Wanda Woman. <laughs> Her name is Celeste, so I got her one of these stepbrother pornos because it's incest. I mean, like, you know what I'm talking about. Got a Justice League meanie. Superhero pajamas. Thank you for going on a date with me, Gift. Oh, what is she going to grade three tomorrow? Why you get her these weird gifts, bro? Why you don't just get her the gift that all Skippy dates need? To go home. So anyway, after drinks, they decide to go home and Skippy realizes that he hasn't been kissed yet and she hasn't really made her move on him and he gets desperate. So sometimes uh, people ask me like, hey Skippy, are you still a uh, virgin? Nobody can ask you that. Nobody asks you that. The only person that asks you that is family members when they're drunk. They're like, hey Skippy, you still a virgin? Yes, grandpa. Yes, I am. Stop ridiculing me. Your name is not Skippy, your name is Scott. Scott is a dope name, Skippy not as cool. I'm sorry Skippy, but I don't see that many girls going to bed with you being like, oh Skippy, give it to me Skippy. Your last name I think is Jessup, it's on your channel, I didn't look it up. So you could call yourself Scotty J, bro. Stop with the Skippy. Are the, you? The Are title you? of the video, oh yeah. Are you tonight? Big secret, I'm, yeah, we didn't have sex. Oh, did you, did I ever, you were there. We didn't have sex earlier. No you were sex. you were conscious for the whole no day, sex right? <laughs> that hurt my cheeks so bad. I forgot that I had surgery. He's causing me physical and mental anguish at this point. Skippy, stop making jokes about roofing people. I shouldn't normally have to ask this, but can you uh, let people know I didn't roofie you once, stop. not even <laughs> once tonight. Oh my God, he actually said it. What the hell? You know what the difference between you and R. Kelly is? One of y'all can sing. <laughs> How, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how do you think the date went? Good. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> it went good. So a 3 then. Because that's the thing we need to talk about. If a girl wanted to do things with you, if a girl was into you, she would do them. Right? There's no secret to like uh, unlocking a specific part in a girl's brain where she's like, I don't like you at all. Oh, now you are sexy. If she was into you, she'd be into you. W uh, do you think uh, another date is... Uh, a possibility of this? Let the comments decide. Okay. okay, but there's no way that people like me enough for them to Let's see. All Let's the comments see. are going to say, do do don't think? do it. All the comments are going to tell you not to do it. So, do um, Skippy, she said, let the comments decide. Let them decide. Open the door, let her go home. Date over, right? Wrong. You're going to watch a man grovel now. I. I think we should, uh, if for let nothing else. Let the comments else. decide. Okay, we'll let the comments decide. Well, my answer to you is yes, I would love to go on a date with you if you're asking and if you're not. I definitely will be asking uh, for a second date, but we'll see, uh, comments and something like that. But she didn't ask. That's so vague and unspecific, but uh, I love it. That's that's good. Um, fives. Uh, fives, yeah. Oh. Who, wants a, who wants a hug or a kiss? It's all about the five, right? This man is so passive aggressive. Let the comments decide. That's so, so vague and so stupid. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I suppose you're going to go into your house and just take the gifts that I gave you and not give me anything back. I love that. I love that. That is so great. And we didn't, we never had Klondike bars. We didn't. Son of a gun. Blue, that one. There are so many reasons to have a second date. <laughs> this is the cringiest shit I think I've ever seen in my life. He, he like diverted that somehow back into the second date. She was talking about something completely unrelated. He was like, yeah. So many reasons to uh, have another date. Again, she could have been talking about anything. You know there's a global warming crisis going on? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's certainly hot. You know it would be hotter? You on a second date. You know what sucks? Bull Cosby. Yeah, Bull Cosby sucks. You know what sucks even more? You on a second date. <laughs> Note to self as I'm sitting here with her, shut up. Well, if you know you need to shut up, why don't you? Have you ever had a friend who's like, I'm constipated, and then just walked off and did nothing about it? It's like, bro, do something about it. Don't tell me. I don't care. I can't help you with that. You need to do that. And that's the end. That's the end. The end. I adore you. Adios. Oh.
I adore you. This is the second supervillain origin story that we've had. We've had Big Ed getting friend zoned, and now we have Skippy turning into a villain because he hasn't got kissed. And you know what villain he is. The dude from The Incredibles. That's the same dude. So yeah, I assume all of you guys are in a cringe coma at this point in time. Well, you need to wake up. Remember I told you about that Klondike bar moment and I said at the end of the video, um, it was gonna matter? The time has come. Skippy has not forgotten that a Klondike bar in his mind will somehow get Deanna to kiss him. So he invites her to come to his house after work because he's getting that kiss one way or another. So uh, I just got done with work and I uh, swung by uh, to pick up some groceries. After work, you should maybe swing by the shower and change your clothes, okay? Just like that, Skippy, you have now made the worst Domino's ad in history. This dude works at Domino's. If you aggravate him on the wrong day, he's gonna turn that Domino's pizza into a destructo disc and people are gonna start running out that store. Uh, these are Klondike bars. You don't have to Let's if you don't down. want to. This is a surprise visit. Yeah, no, I gave her zero notice, in fact. I spent the majority of the day uh, sending her messages saying, I don't get why you don't like me. It's because you do shit like that. We're not in high school anymore. We don't need these answers. Nobody deserves closure. Nobody owes anybody anything. If a girl doesn't like you, she doesn't. Skippy, I hate to be a broken record, but as my friends have told me, there's plenty of fish in the sea. To which I always reply, what the f are we talking about fish for? I said I broke up with my ex, I don't want to eat. To which they say, it's a metaphor, you idiot. And I'm like, can I have sex with that? Nope, but I guess I could with my ex. So I guess we're in the same boat. Oh, is that why we're going fishing for some new fish in the sea? That makes sense. This is why I don't have friends, so. Like, I know that we're gonna be friends for forever. I just have a crush on you, and I cannot get her to uh, reply back in any form whatsoever of, do you even like me a little bit back? Which is probably a pretty good indication that she doesn't. Dude, Skippy, she's right there. <coughs> why, why are you talking about her like she's not right there? What? Ye old Skipster pretends like she's not there. He sits on the step and pretends like she doesn't exist. Dude, when you put that domino shirt on, just because you're invisible to women, it doesn't mean they're invisible to you. As a peace offering for um, having messaged her like four times today, do you like me? Check yes or no. Uh, that I would bring by the Klondike bar. How does that work? If she said no the first time, what more is there? <laughs> do you like me? She ticks no. Are you sure? No. You sure? And I don't know if you saw Deanna during this, but she didn't say four. She mimed 400. And at this point, I don't even think that's an exaggeration. I'll believe it. Oh, you're having one too, right? Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely, uh, I'm just, uh, oh yeah. The... <laughs> I like how you didn't even pretend with that one. Oh, you're having one too. <laughs> yeah, I'm fat. What? Am I having one? This is a six pack. I'm having five, you're having one. I'm fat, baby. So then is the worst part of the video. Skippy realizes that she's not gonna kiss him. Just artificially flavored vanilla light ice cream in a milk chocolate. He's doing that thing from the start of the video again. She doesn't want this to happen. So Skippy starts doing the kissing war chant that he normally does and Deanna does not seem to care. Then he does this. Hey, Deanna, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Our milk and cream. There's no real seal on it. It's not a real dairy product. <laughs> that was the first That's kiss what I've I ever. Got. That was the first kiss we've ever shared. Oh my and goodness. even then, it felt forced. Because it was, dude. Because you pretty much forced yourself on people, and you shouldn't do that. Don't force yourself on people. Yeah, I pre-wrote it. You didn't even see that, did you? That's how much I hate this part. You can't do that. People have boundaries. If they don't want to be touched, don't touch them. If they don't want to be kissed, don't kiss them. It's not just girls, it's guys too. Just respect people's boundaries. If they say no, they mean no. It's a very slimy moment for Skippy. Like Skippy ignored everything to get what he wanted in this video. And that's the shitty part of it. He called Deanna there and she didn't even know why she was coming over. He messaged her all day saying, why don't you like me? He then messaged her saying, check if you really like me. She still came over being a good friend. He gave her a Klondike bar. And when she didn't want to kiss him, he moved in and took it anyway. Skippy, you gotta rethink that one. There is one more part of the video and it happens to be the worst of all. 
Can we try it for real? All right, guys, we did it. Can we try it for real? Let me revisit the Skippy stop chart and tell you what you need to do. You need to stop filming your first dates, bro. Stop. Uh, you need to talk less and listen more. Stop self promo. Just stop it, like every date. Uh, R whistle. Don't put that in your car. Don't bring up ex relationships on the first date. Who are you, Jesus? Stop bragging about how many people you made out with. Who are you, Jesus? What the hell? Didn't I just say that? Change your name. Like I said, Scotty J, great name. And the last thing, don't force yourself on people. Self-explanatory, don't do it. Skippy wants to get married, but he doesn't want to get married to just anyone because marriage is this crazy sanction. I get it, Skippy. I feel that way too, but I kind of feel bad and I hope you find that partner of your dreams. That's why I had this thought two minutes ago. Why don't I sing you a wedding song? Now, I know you're not married right now and I don't even know who it's to, but we'll leave that part open. Hi everybody, it's me, I'm the wedding singer. Today, um, I'm gonna sing a special song for Skippy or Scotty J. This is one of my favorite songs ever. It's a karaoke version made famous by this dude called uh, Leandro Ridley. What's Leanne Rhyme? Sorry about that. The song's called How Do I Live? How do I live? Just quick fact, I actually looked up the meaning of the song. It is not about a serial killer. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to sing when I can't even move my mouth. It hurts so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, that is me for the day. I think I'm just going to take painkillers and pass the hell out. Uh, I really appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. Love you, big babies. Okay, Fluffs, take it away. Oh, you dunk me in the water and my penis ain't coming back. Wait, do you still go to church? How do I breathe without you? And if you ever go, how do I?